the Mexican peso has the potential to be really, really active in trading around the U.S. election results. Uh, Donald Trump's campaign has been quite antagonistic towards Mexico, threatening to build a wall between the two countries, threatening to renegotiate NAFTA, threatening to block resistances, threatening to deport Mexicans from the United States. Uh, because of this, uh, the ups and downs of uh, Donald Trump's campaign have been mirrored by ups and downs in the uh, the Mexican peso. Uh, anytime Donald Trump has been partic- picking up momentum and doing, and doing well, has been seen as a negative by the peso. And, and likewise, when Donald Trump has done poorly, it's been seen as a positive for the peso. Uh, recent trading in the peso shows that we uh, have seen some strengthening in it over the last uh, 24 hours or so following the FBI announcement that they're not going to lay any charges against Hillary Clinton related to the a- emails found on Anthony Weiner's computer. So we had seen here that uh, we've got this gap down, so the U.S. dollar Mexican. So when this gap's down, it means the U.S. dollar is weaker, the Mexican peso is stronger. It's gone down, but it's actually held pretty steady here in this 1860 to 1880 range. People are still uh, have have seen this as being a, a potential negative for Trump, positive for Clinton, but at the same time are still wary to really overcommit to one side or the other. And if we look here at the bigger term uh, uh, chart, we can see you know in September as Trump strengthened and all August, the uh, the peso was uh, this pair went up after the first debate, and Trump stumbled through October. The pair went down. Trump started to gain momentum. The pair went up, but a lower high, interestingly enough, and. Um, and now we've seen it start to come back off. But as it's come back off, it's hitting support. It's hitting this long-term trend support line here. This is about 1860. And this uh, Fibonacci level here, a 50% retracement of this previous uptrend coming in about 1850. So we're in and around support. This is bouncing around between 40 and 60, more or less, suggesting a, a neutral trend in momentum for the RSI. Should things turn around and Trump pick up, and there's still the possibility this could explode to the upside this uh, this gap here could very quickly become a uh, an island bottom. For now, it's a breakaway gap down. We'll see what uh, what happens with uh, with this one. Should Hillary Clinton win, this could continue to decline. This uh, here is uh, 1825, or even retest the 18 level. A Trump win uh, upside here. This is uh, 1925. This here is about 1955, and this is just below the uh, the 20 round number. So uh, we're still at a point where we could see significant moves in the Mexican peso in coming days, depending on who wins the U.S. election.